All right, today I wanted to talk about taping your stick and because I've never actually done this myself, I've always had Eric to do it for me, I'm gonna have him teach us how to tape your stick, including taking your old tape off. This is something you should do every couple months. Some people do it every game. Yeah, you know, it depends on, on what type of player you wanna be. You can be the guy that retapes your stick every single game. I tend not to do that because it, it's, it, it seems silly and it's just a, but some people it's, a, it's, it's just a, a way that they warm up. It keeps their minds busy. They like taping their, there's, there's no wrong answer to it. I do mine about once a year. So this is my annual tape sticking, stick taping. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so one of the ways you can tell it's time to, to, to retape your stick is look for the wear and tear treads all along. You'll start to see the tape come off all over the place. Look at the bottom of the stick. It tends to wear out there first if you're playing correctly. Um, look at the back. The back, you'll see the stick, tape start to peel up. And that's that's the sign that it's time to, to, to go ahead and retape. Um, you can also tell because if you should be using wax on your stick and if you start to see the wax start to come off. Remember, the wax is there to help with a little bit of the grip on, on, the, on, your, on your stick. So you'll, you'll want to do that. So the first thing you want to do is start to take it off. You'll start to see, too, that as you take your tape off your stick, that there are certain places where it's slashed and it comes in half real fast. And that's the spot where the, the tape is the weakest. And what happened is, is somebody came across and slashed your stick or a skate came across it or whatever it is. Um, and now you've got um, now you've got a, a clean cut on the tape. That happens more often than you think. Uh, but yeah, to turn your tape off your stick is again not a big deal. Um, I've got some wear and tear marks on it. On these one piece sticks, a lot of times you have some issues with it, where they're all carbon fiber nowadays, and you'll have wear and tear spots on it, um, cracks and whatnot. I've got a crack on the heel of my stick right now, and uh, right on the bridge here, and so I just taped it up because it's starting to fray all over the place. Probably time for me to replace my stick, but <laughs> it still works. And, Probably and not good. I, I look at it as I'm not going to be a better hockey player because I'm taping my stick too often, or that I buy a $300 stick. Um, I'll pay between $60 and $70 and $80. I'll look for stuff in the used, well, maybe not the used bin, but I'll look for stuff that's on sale or a late model because... For me, and I've been playing for a long time, I don't think a stick is going to make me any better. Um, you know, learn to work with what you got. Uh, so once you've cleared off all the tape on your stick, make sure you take a look at the bottom blade of the blade of the stick uh, that you get all that, that all the other gunk and everything off there as well. Um, but then once you've got it, take your tape, make sure that it's flat out. And I usually start on the outside of the blade is where I'll start it because I don't want it coming off the edge. And you can start it uh, over by the heel instead of the toe. You're welcome to start in either spot. It shouldn't make that much of a difference. Um, and make sure that it lays flat and that you don't have any wrinkles in the tape. Uh, that happens quite a bit. Once you get this moving, it's not that big a deal. Uh, but I always lay my first part of the tape at the top of the blade and then roll it down and then I come up and then I'll cover again laying flat and as I come across the back of the stick I'll start to angle it so that the tape is always moving forward and I'll come down and up some guys can do this real quick I like to make sure as I'm layering it that I'm covering the last round that I took just slightly. And I'll make sure I'm looking at it on both sides, making sure I don't have any parts of the stick that aren't Oops. being covered, and that I'm slightly covering. You don't want to leave gaps in the tape. That's bad. You'll see some people do that, and it's a quick way to get the stick tape unraveled, or you'll start to see pieces come off of it. But you want to slightly cover your last round and I like to come in at a little bit of an angle now every now and then you'll get a snag with your tape especially when you use the cloth tape and it'll start to come off and that's okay you don't have to worry too much about it now in terms of how far up you go on the tape I like to come and cover as much of the blade as possible 
Uh, some people will only cover where the sweet spot is to help them get a better feel for their shot so that they know that, okay, that's the only spot that the puck should be. I like to cover all of it because for me, you know, especially playing beer league, you've got shots and passes that come in tight and you're going to end up coming in off of the heel of the stick as much as the toe of the stick. So you're going to cover, I like to cover as much ground as possible when I take my stick um, because the puck's going to be all over the place. I'm not that good where I only need to cover about four or five inches here, we're kind of in my sweet spot. I see some people take a, a very small area of the blade and that helps them focus where they want the puck to land and where they want the puck to come off as they're shooting or they're passing. Um, I'll make it a lot easier. And we're talking super high level, like professionals who do that. Not even professionals. You'll see guys in beer league do it. You'll see <laughs> junior players do it or high school kids especially. High school kids do this all the time. Oh my goodness. Um, and then make the tear, tear right off at the top. Okay. Take a look at your blades, see if you've got any pieces that are coming off. And when oh, you're smoothing it far? through, what I'll do is I'll take my roll of tape and I'll roll it across to make sure there's no creases or Did anything you like do that. do it right at the top Right here? to the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll make it sure that tear? it's... Now, if I go okay. against the grain of the tape, when I'm, and I come across this way, I take my stick from my, from my toe to my heel, okay? And if I've done that, if I take my tape to level it out and come across the grain, I'm actually going to pull up some of the tape. So I want to make sure I'm going from where I finished to okay. where I started, okay? And that just evens it out, okay? I have all these creases. <laughs> That's a bad sign. It's my first time. So, next thing you do is apply your wax. Make sure you've got a good flat surface on it. Now, some people like to scribble it, and if you scribble it, that's no problem. Just make sure you're going north-south when you scribble, okay? Across the blade, because you don't want to take anything up, okay? Now, if you do come across the blade, make sure you're going with the tape. Don't try to pull it back this way. You're going to pull the tape up. And the whole concept here is you're supposed to get a little bit of grip, a little bit of stick to the type of tape. Helps with the puck movement. And also, the idea behind this is that it's supposed to keep the tape in place so that you don't have any issues with the tape coming up. So what is the point of the wax? So the wax is to provide a little bit of grip onto the cloth. Because again, stick tape is nothing more than cloth. It's supposed to give it a little bit of grip. And it's supposed to help keep the tape in place. So it acts almost as if like a sealer in between the gaps uh, as you're rolling it down. I just thought it's to make it less grippy almost. No, you don't want it to be less grippy. You want the, you want, ideally, you want the puck mm -hmm. on your stick. Right. Now, there's a couple different philosophies on the color of tape that you use. Pucks are black, typically. So black tape, black puck, the idea is that it should hide the puck so that when the shot's coming off your stick, the goalie's not sure if it's where it is along the stick. The other concept is if you use white, the ice is white. And so it's going to confuse the goalie as to where it is actually on your stick. So there, there, there's, you know, there's, there's no real good or bad to it. A lot of guys like to wear use the white tape. White tape is perfectly fine. There's benefits to it because it does blend in with the rest of the ice. It's hard for the goalie to see. Um, black tape has been the traditional color tape, and typically that, again, you can't see, in theory, you can't see the puck if you're a goalie um, as it's laying flat. You're not sure where it is on the tape. There's no wrong answers to it. And honestly, if, if you're that concerned about it, you shouldn't be watching this video because you're probably a hell of a lot better than I am. <laughs> so what is the point of the tape itself? Is it to preserve your stick? Is it to yeah. create that grip? So, you know, your stick takes a lot of abuse. If you've played with the same stick for a while, hey, congratulations. Um, but your, your stick takes a lot of abuse. Um, it, it, it's, it's slashed, particularly if you play at a higher level, you'll get hacked quite a bit and you're going to see a lot of stuff on the bridge here and you're going to see a lot of wear and tear along here. Um, and that's just Puck hits, it's a lot of times it's another guy's stick, it's another guy's stick lifting your stick. You'll get knocks all over the stick. You'll see the paint start to come across, even in these nicer, newer one-piece sticks. Um, the tape is, this is the most used part because it's on the ice the most. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is that you're protecting the blade of the stick to preserve it.
for mm. just a little bit longer. Even though the bottom comes up quite a bit, um, you'll still you every place you'll see a lot of wear and tear is at the toe. If you like to toe drag quite a bit, mm. or you like to maneuver the puck, you'll start to see this start to edge up. Pucks will hit it. This will hit the boards. This will hit another ice. player, the ice, whatever it is. You'll see the top start to come up as well. And that's another place that you're going to see wear and tear on the stick. Some guys to preserve this as they start to see it fray, they'll go ahead and take one thin piece of one piece of tape and lay it over there and then start their circle around there. And the reason you do that is to help to preserve this end of the stick. Usually by that point in time, it's starting to fray. It's time to start looking for a new stick anyways because the life is kind of starting to leave the stick. You're, you're, you, you don't have much life left in it. Okay, well, um, this was how to tape your stick. If you have any questions, let us know. This, again, was my first time doing this, and I, I feel like I can do it now. <laughs> I've always just relied on him. So um, also, don't forget to subscribe below and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.